Live from BBC Radio 1, it's time to make another celebrity wet. Once again, it's time for Innuendo Bingo to partner Strictly Come Dancing in Strictly Come Bingo. Taking to the floor this afternoon, the glamorous Alison Hammond, the handsome Ali Ash Skorianitz, and the dishevelled Chris Stark. Now, please welcome your host, <laughs> Mr Scott Mills. <laughs> Thank you, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> right, the cameras are on right now. Have a look. bbc.co.uk slash radio one. We're about to play bingo. Right, Strictly style. Just click on it to watch on the website. Here we go. Okay. What's happening now? Hammond. What? Sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing about yet. It's just him with it. Oh, God. Oh, it's making me laugh already. I'm so sorry. That's all right. All right, OK. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this seriously. This is going to be one of do my favourites. Do we have to put it in now? Put it in now, Put it love. in now, Alice. I can't hold it for very long. It just makes me laugh. OK, Scott, you ready? She doesn't, okay. she doesn't have long. OK, go on. First, we're going to... First, we're going to a BBC4 documentary called Lost Kingdoms of Central America. Now, I don't speak Spanish, but by the sounds of it, this guy is uh, hes putting on quite a show. The jaguar, the jaguar represents the fertility, so it's in a very important region where the hule emerges. This is the first time that these balls have ever been formed or seen in television. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! This is the first time that these balls have ever been filmed or seen on television. Oh, Got again. Me. Oh, Alison. Whoa! I'm so easy. Mouth. I'm so sorry. Oh, your laugh is something else. Oh no! I knew this would be a good one. I don't think there's another one. So sorry. Yeah. Okay. And now to uh, let's go to match of the day next. And John Motson's in the commentary box for this match, where Spurs player Kyle Norton seems to have um, slightly overexerted himself. Lots of water in the mouth, please, guys. Fill it up. And here we go. And there goes Kyle Norton. That doesn't look too good, does it? Might have just followed through a bit too much. Oh. <laughs> Chris got there first on that one. Alias, you? <laughs> you're all wet. Who's wetest at the moment? Um, um, Alias. Sure. I don't know, Alison. You're, you're definitely uh... getting there. <laughs> Might have just followed through a bit too much. Oh, in front of everyone as well. How embarrassing. Okay. Thank you, Rich, who emailed that to me. We are getting through the water here. <laughs> Scott Not Mills at BBC.co.uk. If you do need any more water, by the way, mm. there is a waiter there who mm. still has a semi on. Um, he's had a semi on since last week. Right. It's incredible. Oh, yeah. the, the wine, the semi on wine. <laughs> You can on, give it to you at any show point. Semi on. Semi Come on, on, show it to us. There it is. That's incredible self-control. He's had that for a week. <laughs> Hasn't drunk it himself. <laughs> there we are. Thank you. Thank you very Come much. Keeping it classy, no. see, because it's strictly. It's all right. I'm, I'm fine. <coughs> well, as we expected, Alison. He's, he's got, got massive, massive mouth. <laughs> and now over to DIY SOS with Nick Knowles. Water, please, guys. Lots of it. Right. And it sounds like the whole neighbourhood have really enjoyed having Nick Knowles and the team in town for a few days. Fortunately, Jenny's neighbour has let us come through her back garden. <laughs> oh, that really soaked me. Oh, man. I'm Nick Knowles there. Jenny's neighbour has let us come through her back garden. Thank you, James and Zach, for that oh. clip. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What have you done, Alison? I've spilled all the water. Just spilled all, <laughs> all of it. You know the game's like centered around water. Yeah. There ain't none there anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll send the waiter. And now we go over to ITV. Mm. He's going to fill you up there. Are you right there? Got some water yet? Yeah. We're all right. And now Carol Vorderman admitting on television something that we've suspected for quite a long time. Uh, I've done that, which is a bit embarrassing, really, but you have to laugh it off then, You have you? to laugh everything. I love yeah. a custard pie in the face. Do you? Yes. Oh, I love a bit oh, of muck no. in the face. I love it. Mm. Right. I think so. mm. <laughs> <laughs> OK, fine. Everything fine? OK. We're good. Yeah, that's a good one. Well held, everyone. Yes. Oh, I love a bit oh, of muck no. in the face. I love... <laughs> <laughs> Hammer's going to blow at any point. 
<laughs> oh, we're all Are good. You okay? Are you stable as well in the chair? It does look like you're, you're coming closer towards me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're leaning in more and more. <laughs> now we're going over to BBC Cumbria, and Peggy Walker is covering Mike Zeller's holiday on The Breakfast Show. You know Mike Zeller of BBC Cumbria. Now, Peggy's found a, uh, a great way to welcome Mike back next week, <laughs> as she tells everyone, while reading out an email from a listener. Water. Here we go. Lots of it in your mouth. Uh, why not give Mike a bell and tell him he can have another week off? Uh, I shouldn't have read that, Pete, but thank you very much. He is coming back next week and uh, I will polish his, his ding bell, especially for his return. <laughs> You've got a really good aim, haven't you? Both of you on You've got proud. a good Honest. aim. I don't know how you do it. Oh. You've done this before, uh, haven't you? He's done it before, yeah. Is there anywhere I can have a tissue to oh, blow my nose? Oh, oh that'll be attractive. On... <laughs> to blow to what? To blow, blow my nose. nose. Oh, I've never had to do that. It's... Have you never had to do waiter, that? Waiter, tissue. I'm not on this game. You no, just it's... need a tissue. Or oh, just to, to dab. Yeah, waiter, can we uh, tissue for Miss Hammond, please, to dab? <laughs> <laughs> what are you hitting on? <laughs> <laughs> is, is my makeup running? No. Is any? You can't even tell you, right? Okay, Don't so look like I've got any makeup on. let's have some uh, <laughs> some more water, please. Thank right, you, you uh, thank you, Jake in Cumbria, for sending us that one. I will polish his his bell, especially for his return. It's <laughs> 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 oh, quality. Now a classic from Gok One. Water, please. Now Gok's got a top tip for anyone who likes having well likes having seconds. If you haven't got it all the way down your top, all over your face. And in your hair, you've not really enjoyed it properly. I <laughs> <laughs> nearly drowned myself. <laughs> Literally nearly drowned. <laughs> <laughs> it went down the wrong hole and everything. Oh my well, gosh. <laughs> I'm going to die live on air. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> okay, we've got a tissue from Miss Hammond. Let's continue. Thank you. Water, please. Let's make this a big one. Come on, we've got a couple oh, more to go. Too funny. OK, over to, uh, over to Chris Evans again at Radio 2. He's always at it. Now, Chris has had an email from a listener who has found a dangerous way to while away a few hours in his truck. Ready? Here we go. Morning, Lynn. This is from Stuart Clark. Morning, Stuart. Morning, Stuart. He says, I'm sitting in my wagon in Wisbech or Wis Beach, waiting to get loaded onto the ferry so I can be blown all the way to Glasgow. Yeah. <laughs> It's not a quick journey either. (laughs) How do you manage to stay looking so good? You're so wet. (laughs) So I can be blown all the way to Glasgow. (laughs) Finally, a classic a classic from BBC Radio Solent, where Sam Fraser likes to let us know every single last detail of what she got up to at the weekend. While we were having our drink, uh, one of the teachers from the school that our children were at came over and said, oh, ladies, how lovely to see you. And uh, it said that his another of his colleagues was going to meet him. We ended up having a foursome in the, uh, in the garden. It was absolutely lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Fraser there from... BBC <laughs> <laughs> oh, right Radio Solent there. Loved it. We ended up having a foursome in the, uh, in the garden. It was absolutely lovely. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. No, cheers, Alison. Uh, Ali Ash, are you aware of what happened there? No. No. He's <laughs> <laughs> got massive, massive mouths. <laughs> that was Alison Hammond and Ali Ash on Strictly Come Bingo. Thank you very much thank for listening. You. Thank you for watching. And thank you very much, Ali Ash. I'm sorry that uh, this happened. And <laughs> Alison, did you enjoy it? Oh, I loved it. It's great. All right. I'll see, you. I'll see you at the weekend. See you at the weekend. Thank you very much, guys. That was brilliant. 